Jerry Depoto claims that the Mariners are only going to add one or two more players to the 2023 roster from what it is right now over on the Fangraphs podcast just the other day. But could you give a ballpark number of additional trades or signings that you might make? Yeah, one or two. And with some pretty obvious areas of need, who are the Mariners going to be adding? Who are those one or two players? We've talked a lot about different players throughout the past week or so. We've talked about Will Myers, Jerkin Profar, so on and so forth. But realistically, are the Mariners going after any of these free agents as we know they don't really care to build through free agency? Well, with that in mind from Jerry Depoto, here are some ideas that could work out for the Mariners. We've talked a lot about people that could platoon with Jared Kelnick in left field lately. However, we haven't talked a lot about what Jerry Depoto also said is that he wants to give a day off or two to our boy Ty France over at first base. Now, of course, we've talked about Will Myers, who would fit both platooning with Jerry Kelnick and giving a day off to Ty France, but recently DFA'd Eric Hosmer might be a really good fit for the Mariners. Now, I know, I know, Eric Hosmer isn't as good as he used to be, but let's be honest, this is actually a really good deal as the Mariners would only have to pay him league minimum. Because he was designated for assignment and the Padres are still paying his full salary, the Mariners would only have to pay him about $720,000 to play for them. He could definitely give Ty France a day off or two over at first base and his bat isn't as bad as I honestly thought it was. Looking at Hosmer's numbers between San Diego and Boston, he had 268, 334, 382 with a 108 OPS plus hitting eight home runs with 44 RBI. And 108 OPS plus that's kind of his career norm and he's not that far removed from 2020 where he hit 287 333 517 with a 132 ops plus but this barely 100 range is probably what we're looking at with eric hosmer again hosmer isn't a sexy pick but he would be someone who would bring a winning pedigree to the mariners he's won the world series before he's been an all-star eric hosmer is that veteran present the mariners would have him through the 2025 season as he's signed to an eight-year 144 million dollar contract he is a lefty, so if you did want to platoon him with Ty France, well, you could. Throughout his career, Eric Hosmer is a 287 hitter versus right-handed pitching and a 255 versus lefties. So if you wanted to give Ty France a day versus a tough righty and have Eric Hosmer in there, that's not a bad idea. His baseball savant page isn't that exciting. As you can see here, he strikes out a lot and he whiffs a lot. His chase rate's low, his sprint speed's low, his arm strength's low, his outs above average is low. Eric Hosmer is not going to make or break your team. And I really do wonder if the ending of the shift could help out Eric Hosmer. Looking at his spray chart here, you could definitely see he pulled the ball a lot. And that is backed up through his numbers in 2022, where he had a 39.1% pull ratio, which is the highest of his career. Overall, he's had a 34.2% pull percentage and a 37.3% center percentage. So you'd hit the ball up the middle. So with the shift going away, it's possible that Eric Hosmer could be a good bet to maybe get back to his career normal. In the end, it's not that big of a deal even if he doesn't because he's really just a bench bat for you and he's a good guy that you could have coming off the bench because he has a winning pedigree. He's been there before. If Jerry Depoto does plan on only adding one or two players, this very well could be one of them, but that still leaves a platoon with Jerry Kelnick in left field. And I also would like to see the Mariners maybe add to their bullpen. I mean, they did bring back Casey Sadler and maybe he can make it out of the minor leagues this year and play for the Mariners again. But who's to say? Of course, their one free agent signing was Trevor Gott. They did sign him, so it's also possible that Trevor Gott makes the bullpen, although I wouldn't rely on it. Another guy the Mariners could be looking at as one of these one or two players is outfielder Max Kepler. As a lot of us know, the Minnesota Twins signed Joey Gallo, a big power, high strikeout guy. And having him in an outfield with Max Kepler is kind of surprising. And honestly, there's a good chance that Kepler gets traded. Kepler was a 93 OPS plus guy in 2022. He only hit nine home runs with 43 RBI. He hit 227, 318, 348. However, these numbers may not be what they seem. Kepler's never been a high on base percentage guy, but that could change in 2023. And just looking at Kepler's baseball savant page, yeah, there's a lot of red here. We can see his whiff percentage is pretty high, his chase rate's pretty high, his sprint speed's not bad, walk percentage is pretty high, his cape percentage is pretty high. We have his expected batting average high and his max exit velocity in the 93rd percentile. And as you can see on his spray chart, Kepler's a guy who pulls the ball a lot. And we can back that up right here as Kepler had a 45.1% pull percentage, which is incredibly high. He had a 33.1% center percentage and just a 21.8% oppo percentage. So yeah, needless to say, Kepler pulls the ball a lot. And with the shift going away, Kepler could be more valuable than ever. If you were to trade for Max Kepler, however, there's a decent chance that he would just take over that left field spot and Jared Kelnick would go elsewhere. He could go in a different trade for maybe some relievers or something like that. Who really knows? In 2019, of course, the juice ball era, Kepler hit 36 home runs. Otherwise, he's been really a 20 home run guy at his peak. 
Trading for someone like Max Kepler would definitely be relying on his ability to get back to hitting the ball hard and hitting it up the middle and pulling the ball with the shift going away. Whether or not that makes sense for the Mariners and where they're at right now, it's really tough to say. Kepler's on a one-year deal with a team option in 2024, so he very well could be just a rental. But he would definitely add he would definitely add some left-handed strength to the Mariners lineup that they don't really have right now, minus someone like Cal Raleigh. If Jerry Depoto's plan is to only get one or two more players, these two do make a lot of sense, and they're not really exciting picks, but they do lengthen the Mariners lineup further than they have it right now. Now, I think we're all kind of ready to accept that the Mariners aren't going to go all in, but if they do, they could go all in on this player right here. I have that video on the screen now. I appreciate you guys watching this one, and go Mariners.